As a new feature in TBC version 4.10, we have added the support to import SenseFly generated JXL files from the eMotion field software. To do so, just open up a new TBC project. We'll work in metric. And with this new project, I've got no coordinate system set yet. I will just take my JXL and drag and drop it. This loads into TBC just like any Trimble branded UX5, UX5HP, or ZX5 JXL file. Along with the JXL comes the uh, images and the flight path as well. And so we're just in local, you see here, zero, zero coordinates. Um, you'd expect this uh, data to be transformed just like any operation in TBC, any data in TBC. When you change the coordinate system, the data will adjust as well. So by clicking in the project settings, you can go to coordinate system and then change. Select the coordinate system. We are working with a Swiss data set. Accept the changes, and now you'll see the mission data is now on those coordinate systems in uh, uh, Switzerland. Same thing for GCPs. You can drag and drop a CSV file. Here's the points, the easting northern elevation. And I import, and I can see here my coordinates uh, are lining up to where my GCPs are. From here, this is not handled like any uh, Trimble branded JXL file. If I expand the flight missions in Project Explorer, you'll see here is the mission. It is not adjusted. There's 148 stations or 148 images. If I expand this further, you can see I've got my flight plan, which I can see is an area of 186,000 square meters, has a height of 106 meters. And then from any one of my stations or my images, those properties, you can see this was flown with an EB plus UAV system. With this data now natively in TBC, we can take two different approaches to adjusting and creating our deliverables. One approach is the send to UAS master option, or the other is using the UAS tools within TBC natively, and that is kicked off by starting the adjust photo station routine. There are two workflows within TBC to process and adjust UAV data. One is the adjust photo stations like we have open where you complete a relative adjustment first which does a relative orientation of the photo stations followed by an absolute adjustment which is the ground control points or GCP matching or the other workflow is in advanced UAS where you do a quick fit adjustment then followed by GCP matching. There are other resources available to you via the TBC Survey YouTube channel or some of the TBC tutorials or through the info tutorials for UAS Master to how to complete the processing and adjustment of the UAV flight data. But I want to show you now the deliverables, what, what this uh, mission can deliver within TBC. So I've got up right now the point cloud in the split plan in 3D view. Rotating around a little bit so you can see. Also deliverable options created within TVC are the ortho image. Or the DSM raster image as well. 
for a quick validation just because we've got it in the software uh, and on the computer doesn't mean that the uh, data is to, to be blindly trusted. We like to do a little QA, QC on this data on the adjustment. Uh, I'm going to take a uh, ground to surface measurement from a surface created from the point cloud to our ground control point uh, number 43. This was not used in the adjustment, so it is a good independent check. Within TBC, in the measure distance command drop down, there's a points to surface command. If you launch that, Pick your point, 43, to my surface, hit apply, and you can see here the point elevation is at 576.22 meters, the surface elevation is at 576.293 meters, a difference of about 7 centimeters. So I'm happy with this result. We are happy to now say that we can support and process SenseFly data created from the eMotion software with the EB hardware in TBC version 4.10 and later.